everybody, I'm Coach A with Tri-Air Racing. Today we're going to go over what you absolutely have to have to start out in the sport of triathlon and what you can probably wait on for a little while until you become a little more advanced. Let's go check out the gear list and see what you got to get. Alright guys, so we're going over the gear that you have to have as a beginner triathlete to train for your first triathlon. We're going to go in the order of swim, bike, run. So first up is a swim and the first thing you need, you guessed it, a bathing suit. Now. Just use whatever bathing suit you have lying around the house. You don't need to go out and buy a big fancy bathing suit because all you're doing with the bathing suit is training. You're not gonna race in it. If you do have to buy a bathing suit, just go online and grab one, uh, a cheap one. Don't spend a whole lot of money. Save that money for some of the other gear we're gonna go through. The next thing you're gonna need are goggles. Again, I spend between 12 and $15 on these. Why do I say that? Because you're gonna go through a few pairs before you figure out the size and fit that you like for your face. Uh, just know that going in, it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error. The last piece of equipment that you are gonna need for the swim is a swim cap. I'd spend an extra couple dollars on the swim cap. Go to swimoutlet.com. They have a really good selection uh, at the 13 to $17 price point. Um, this one was $17 because it is a larger swim cap to fit all this hair back here. It's made for long hair. So if you have long hair, keep that in mind and get you one that will that'll fit your hair so that uh, it's not too tight around your head and your hair doesn't get wet. Next up is the bike and the first piece of equipment you're going to need for the bike is a bike. Now. This is where a lot of people go out and blow a whole lot of money. And what I'm here to tell you is use what you have. More than likely, you have a mountain bike like this lying around in your garage somewhere, or you have a friend that has a mountain bike lying around in their garage somewhere. Try to borrow one so you don't have to go out and buy one. Do not go out and buy a fancy road bike if this is your first triathlon. Make sure that this is a sport that you're gonna stick with before you invest that type of money. If you do have to buy one, just go to your big box store and spend about 160 bucks on one. That's, that's about the price point that they're at right now when I'm making this video. Um, I say go to a big box store and don't go online because online, they're gonna ship you the bike in a box and then you're gonna have to put it together. And I don't know about you, but putting a bike together does not sound like fun. So just use what you have or go buy yourself a mountain bike. To go with that mountain bike to race, you're gonna need a helmet. Again, don't spend a whole lot of money on this. Just go down to Amazon, go down to your big box store, grab yourself um, a $30 helmet and, and you'll be set, good to go. It'll protect your noggin just like a $100 helmet. You just won't have the aerodynamics that a, a $100 helmet has. Now, the last sport is the run and this is where I would spend your extra money, shoes. You can go down to a big box store, you can go online, and you can spend, you know, maybe between $40 and $50 on a pair of shoes. Problem with spending only $40 to $50 on a pair of shoes is that you're not going to get the shoe that's right for your foot. If you go down to your local running store, they're going to look at the shoes that you're currently wearing, they're going to put you on a treadmill, and they're going to look at your stride. And why is this important? Because that is going to tell them the exact shoe that you should wear for your stride type and for the way that you, you, you land on your foot. So it's very, very important to spend the extra money here because on the pavement in those running shoes is where you're gonna spend the most time. So go down there, spend the extra dollars, and this will save you a lot of pain in the future and it'll probably save you from injury. And guess what guys, that's it. That's all the gear you need to start training for your first triathlon. I hope this eases your concerns about becoming a triathlete and I hope one day to see you out there on the race course.